Peace. This is your brother Raheem, your investigative reporter. This is a public announcement. According to what I have learned from the Quran now, again, I'm not that well versed in the Quran, but according to what I have seen, Muhammad get his knowledge. According to the Quranic narrative, Muhammad got his knowledge from the angel Gabriel in a cave. Coincidentally enough, countless pagan religions that predate Islam by centuries in the same region have stories of prophets going through a catabasis or a trip into an underworld in a cave where they encounter a spirit and they receive some type of extra special knowledge that they reintroduce to the people. This is very okay. consistent with that of Mithraic cults that were dominant in the region. Therefore, this is nothing but an Israel, a, Judea, a Judaized version of a Mithraic cult. That's all Islam is. Can I ask you something? He's in a mountain. I'm going to give two different things. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. What lineage is Job? Job is an Arab. In the Eastern Bible Dictionary, it says Job is a patriarch of the Arabian people. Okay. He was an Arab. But you know in the Quran it says that Job is an Israelite. You know that, right? No. It says it literally word for word in the Quran that Job is of the progeny of Jacob. Job was not. What, what verse is that? Let me, you let know what, and I, I, I can't recall it off the top of my head, but here's... Okay, now. We're going to deal with the three things he said. In my debate, Alexar claimed he didn't say he didn't have knowledge in Quran or Islam with me. And I said, you said that in your video, which we don't have to spend too much time on because you heard him yourself. He's not well versed in Quran. He's not well versed in Islamic history. He knows nothing about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and so forth and so forth. So there it is. We don't have to spend too much time on it. Now, the cave thing he went into, as though it's a sin or the caves were made for pagans. People were buried in caves. People went to caves to meditate, to leave the metropolis of the city, the hustling and bustling, just like they do today, you know, over there in those regions. How do you think they found the Qumran scrolls or the Dead Sea Scrolls? Those were Arab children playing in those caves. Now, the Bible. Okay, and I have more, the synopsis of the cave. I don't want to spend too much time on this either. 1 Samuel chapter 13 verse 6. Job chapter 30 verse 6. Genesis chapter 19 verse 30. 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 9. Psalms chapter 142 verse 1. I want to read two that's important. Okay? And listen to this. Because Muhammad was in the cave. He said, Jibril came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Listen to this. 1 Kings chapter 9, 19, verse 9. And he came thither unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word of Yahweh came to him, and he said unto him, What doest thou here, Elijah? So Yahweh was talking to him in the cave. Psalms chapter 142, verse 1. Mashkil of David, a prayer. When he was in the cave, I cried unto Yahweh with my voice. With my voice unto Yahweh did I make my supplication. So he was in a cave. So that clears that up. Clear, cut, and dry. 
See, I told him. Moses went to the mountain, you know, away from the hustle and bustle. He left the people to go up to be isolated. He tried to make it seem like a cave is a sin. Only the pagans went there and given false history. Now let's deal with this Job thing. The Holy Quran. He claimed that my Quran and like he said coincidentally enough he didn't even have the verse. Now he got all the other knowledge for everything else but when I asked him where is it? He didn't have it. Job is mentioned in the Quran four times. The one I have the black bold around he must be talking about this because the other ones don't talk about Job being from anybody. Chapter 6 verse 84 it says we gave him Isaac and Jacob meaning Abraham because when you read uh, verse 80, 83 it'll tell you it's Abraham. All three guided and before him we guided Noah among his progeny see Noah among his progeny David, Solomon, Job, Joseph, Moses and Aaron. Thus do we reward those who do good. So it doesn't say that. So he lied. Why? As he said, he's not well versed. So he's picking up things and trying to use it. That's what's going on, people. Because he hates so much. That's what's wrong with Alizar and uh, other people like him. So it doesn't even say it there. So what is this guy talking about? Let's go into it a little deeper. In the Arabic, the name is Ayub, not Job. Okay? I've marked the Arabic because I can read the Arabic. It says, Wa Ayub. It doesn't say Job. The commentary, if he would have read the Quran and read the commentary, gave him a little more understanding. Job, Ayub, was a prosperous man with faith in Allah living somewhere in the northeast corner of Arabia. Let's move on. Dictionary of Islam. I have this book. He does it. it says Job, Arabic, Ayub. Okay. Mentioned in the Quran as a prophet. An example of patience. So they give you the Surah and so forth and whatnot. But let's read down what the commentary says. It says, Mr. Sal, following the commentaries of Jalalan and Al Bazawi, says the Muslim no, the Mohammedan writers tell us that Job was of the race of Esau. So he's not the of Jacob it doesn't say Jacob in our book and, and even in the um, dictionary um, of Islam Eastern Bible Dictionary says Job persecuted an Arabian patriarch who resided in the land of Uz Uz was in Arabia All that land was Arabia. So it's saying it right here in the Bible dictionary. It's even lining up with the Quran. And it's outside source. Let's keep moving on. Seventh day Adventist Bible dictionary. Job. Hebrew. What it says? Eub. Doesn't say Job. It's lining up with Ayub in the Arabic. And how do we know? Watch this. The name occurs in the Armana letters as Ayab, same as Arabic. And in the Maori text, these were people also in the East as Ayabom. Greek, Ilb. So the I was changed into a J. That's where they get that from. Now let's read down. The land of Uz 
has not been identified with any particular locality but references in the book of Job and data provided by Josephus Antiquities I-64 and Palamity locate us east of Palestine proper of the borders of the Arabian Desert Job Arabic the oldest Arabic manuscript of the Old Testament British Museum Arab 1475 this is one of his scripts okay it's in Arabic so I'm giving you all sources now look at this people Job a man of singular piety and more singular trials who is supposed to have lived in Idumenia at a very early period of the world some has su supposed that he was the same as Jobab great great no great grandson of Esau but others place him before Abraham's time whether it's Esau or Abraham's time I would leave that up to them but that doesn't say nothing about Jacob or Israel so if it was before Abraham definitely not if it's with Esau the text is showing us that it's not saying Jacob so what is Alazar talking about let's look at the geographical locations the world as known to the Hebrews blue letter Bible historical text book and atlas of the biblical geography geography 1854 by Coleman look at Shem Shem is stretched all over Arabia Look where Joktan is. Look where Haga is. Look where Ishmael is. You see? Uz is near Edom. Over there where Midian is. So what is this guy talking about? Shem comes from Noah. According to the Bible. Ur, as I told y'all, is in Arabia. The map encyclopedia of world religions. Look what it's saying. Or look where Soma is and look where Babylonia is. And Babylon. It far apart. Let's go to the next one. Babylon, Mesopotamia, and the birth of civ of a civilization. Look where Ur is. Ur is in Arabia. It's near the um the uh Tigris River, but it's in Arabia. Let's go to another map. Seven Day Adventist Commentary, Ur in Arabia map. Look where Ur is in Arabia. Look where Babylon is. Babylon is far. I've told y'all this. Look where the land of Chaldea is, uh, is, and look where Ur is. It's in Arabia. Still, it's not in Babylon. Look where Babylon is. So with that, I end this conversation because. Alazar really don't know what he's talking about when it comes to Quran and people should basically not trust that guy he don't know nothing he's not even on my level but I had to show this so people can understand he spits out rhetoric dazzling with the tongue as it may be but he spits out reg uh, rhetoric I don't even want to talk about a wall because he was he's ridiculous he don't know how to to debate <laughs> he thought it was just gonna be all the uh, Christians or whatever Hebrews since it's flooded with that those people who read the Bible thought he, he could get over it didn't happen that way so with that I say assalamu alaikum and I love bringing y'all the truth.